guys. So today we're gonna do barbacoa tacos. This time we're gonna do it oh, that was not <laughs> in the instant pot. I've never done it with the instant pot. It's actually my first time doing it. So we're gonna see how it comes out. It shouldn't be a big deal. I wanted to try it out because I honestly, I kind of been liking cooking with the um, instant pot or the oven. So we're gonna start off with, I bought six pounds of um, beef chunks. Is that what they call? So I'm just, I put I put it on meat stool. I don't know. I don't really know how to use it, but we're gonna figure this out. I've been using it. Oh, I have to put it oil. I've been using it, but not as much as I thought I would. And I'm gonna put some extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And this is just two toast the top. We're not cooking it. We're just toasting the top. It's a big old. We're just going to toast it. So we're just going to toast like the Five, the top of the meat and then um i'm gonna place it here put them on the side and then i'm gonna do all this meat i got six pounds okay so next we need to chop out some onion um i'm using yellow onion but you can use a white onion too it's about um like two cups maybe two cups for six pounds remember My six pounds should be feeding at least like eight, eight I guess, people, eight people. So we're gonna pour this inside, golden brown. And I'm actually gonna put oil because I didn't put it off for that. have my cilantro and my onion chopped uh the orange the, i like the purple onion been obsessed with it and then the cilantro and i also made cucumbers with lemon and salt and my relish i have them on the side my limes and some chile i made Chile. I usually just make uh, salsa verde with this, but I made chile de molcajete, but not in the molcajete, in the blender. Um, it smells so good. I was craving it, so we're going to eat it with that. I don't have a molcajete, so I had to do it in the blender, which still works the same. Okay, so now that's ready. Okay, so we're gonna, we have garlic in here. We have seven garlics. We're gonna put two tablespoons, two teaspoons, I'm sorry. Two teaspoons of black pepper. Teaspoons of oregano. Lime juice, uh, it's about, let's see. fourth of lime juice and we're gonna put some ground cloves we're gonna put one fourth of a teaspoon we're gonna put two of those I'm sorry two of the one fourth of a teaspoon now we're gonna put I had it in here it's the um the uh chipotle sauce the can one I'm gonna put this is basically like a whole can a whole can of a 
I kind of want to put two, but I'm going to wait to see how, how it tastes with that. Okay, so we're going to put some salt and we are going to put four tablespoons. tablespoons of cumin I might need another I guess the adobo is depending on how you like the chile chicken I'm putting chicken broth so one cup of chicken broth where is my cup I'm gonna put a little bit more of a cup just because I like the juice. Okay, this looks weird. It usually looks white, doesn't it? Huh. I guess it was just me. I always seen it white for some reason, not yellow. It looks like almost like orange juice. Ooh. I'm gonna put one and a half. I might put more chili. Um, yeah, because I kind of want to put more chili. We're gonna blend this thing. We're gonna blend it so everything's blend in together. Obviously. Okay, once it's blend in, we're gonna put our meat inside the pot pots. It should cook within. For what I read, uh, the barbacoa should be cooked. I'm going to turn it on. It should take 60 minutes. I'm going to put it to 60 minutes. So an hour. Um, and then we're going to put the, uh, the salt on top of it. I'm gonna try the the sauce first before I put it on. I want to see if it has enough chile, cause I like my my meat like in between. I've made it really spicy sometimes, but cause I do not measure my chile and I just put a lot. But this time I'm gonna put it to where it's like gives a little kick of uh, chile, chile chipotle. And I'm gonna put more chicken broth. It's probably like another cup. I'm gonna put the whole chili because I don't know, just because. No, maybe not. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, we're gonna put half of it. Actually, like three chiles you know what four chiles let's do four chiles from this can it's about one and a half of uh, the chipotle adobo sauce let's blend this okay. let's try the chile let's try the chile It's not that spicy. Mm -mm. Let's try it again. Mm. It's good. Okay. Square it inside. Now I'm going to cover it. Then wish me luck. Hopefully, press to vent. Oh, it's pressed to vent, so no, not bad. Okay. So we're gonna let it do its job. What is it? An hour. Okay. So this is how it looks like after an hour. Now time to shred. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I know what 
other recipes I can do. That'll be awesome. I heard the ribs are really good, which I have to try and do them. And I probably am. I'm going to try to do the ribs here. All right, guys. So uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it or thumbs down if, you know, my recipe could have been better. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Have fun in your home since we have to be home.